Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we need to do some cleanup. Are we still truced over here? We are. Okay, so that means that we're going to be targeting up over this direction almost certainly. We just dealt with some rebellions. This is a lot of populace. It's probably inaccurate. Let's kick forward and find out. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, that doesn't look to be too much of a problem. So I'd like to attack out over this direction and get a lot of these little guys cleaned up. I'm thinking, like, these three simultaneously, then we can, like, push down and take these five or so. Maybe, like, six when we include these guys. And then we can start taking some of these larger areas. I mean, Yugra is... We're apparently friends with this queen. Okay. I'm wondering... There are no claimants. She would not become our vassal. We don't own anything in the Empire of Siberia, so that is extremely unlikely to be a thing. Sure. So that pretty much means that we need to do, like I said, and start taking out some of these. I'm going to actually declare here. Forced vassalization sounds good. And we're going to do the same thing to all four of these. There we go. Something like that. So we're going to do these four. Then we're going to do, like, these six probably. Maybe we should do five and five. So we would declare here forced vassalization. There we go. Now the game is going to think that we're overstretched because we're in five wars. The game is wrong, but it is still going to think that. So we're going to drop our men at arms here. It's going to take them four months to arrive and we'll raise up a few levy forces as well. They called in a holy order, but this is not very relevant. It's absolutely fine. We don't care whatsoever about the number of forces that they can muster. It's completely and totally not relevant to the situation because we're just so much more powerful than them. It just does not matter what they can what they can raise up. It's fine. So we're a little brighter for being a leper. I'm actually shocked that we're still alive, to be honest. Uh, what do we got here? You must repent. Okay. So our men-at-arms are going to arrive in the eventual times, but let's just move up over this way. I want to make sure we have some form of siege leader here, ideally. This guy will do. Cool. So up we go, and once our men-at-arms arrive, then we'll just go on a rampage and make our way through this quite quickly. But as I expected, this faction is going to be saying, hey, you look pretty overextended, and they're going to try to do something about it. It's not going to go well for them, to be clear. I'm going to send this guy a gift, and he's probably going to leave that faction now. So that'll be fine. And eventually our men-at-arms will show up. Ah, we just became infirm. Okay. So the end is nigh. No doubt about that. The end is very much nigh. We're still feeling fine, even while in infirm, though. Because we've got reduced disease symptoms, we're stubborn, and we have exotic food. So that's all fine. Our men-at-arms have at long last arrived. And we can grab a lifestyle perk here. Our stress level just went up. And that's bad. We definitely don't want our stress level to be up right now. And there isn't much we can do about it. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a mental break, and we can get regular walking routes. It, it'll it make it more likely that we get assassinated. But I'm interested in surviving this war. <laughs> Assassinations are probably going to happen at some point. But, you know, I mean, this guy has lived to be 52 as a leper. I'll take it. I'm perfectly content with that. So we're actually going to get this siege pretty much finished by the time our men-at-arms get here. In fact, it did finish. Wild. So we're going to head up over here, and we're going to leave behind a siege force. I want to go fight. So as soon as we arrive up over here, I'm going to do just that. We're going to... Wow, this is going fast. Okay. Bombards and probably around 20k levies will be sufficient. I want to make sure these guys have a siege leader, and that should be this guy. Same guy as before. And we're going to walk up over this way. Now we're just looking to knock them out of the wars as quickly as possible. So that our vassals don't get the wrong idea. Okay, just come on over this way. 
This should end this war. Beautiful. And we'll enforce those demands. And we're going to walk up over here. We're going to catch something, it looks like, out over this way. Wonderful. We're above our vassal limit. We'll handle that after this set of wars. So for the time being, this is fine. We'll stack wipe this army, of course. And there we go. They're stack wiped. Now we're going to head on over this way and get these areas cleaned up. Perfect. So we're going to get these sieges dealt with. That should go quite quickly. We're already at 50% war score. Actually, I should have imprisoned that person, but you know, whatever. White piece? No, get out of here. That is not happening. I can tell you that right now. Let's go take his capital. That'll end the war. And checking in over here. Yeah, we're going to slow siege like down over here. It shouldn't be that slow of a slow siege either. So that should be pretty good. This war is pretty much over. Yeah, summon the physician. And, yep, as expected. War is over. So we'll enforce those demands. And these guys are going to head straight on down over here. Okay. I don't know about this, actually. I think that these guys should head here. And we should just finish this battle and then come up here and fight these guys. Yeah, something like this. They're trying to run away, but, you know, that's to be expected. So we're going to see about catching them. They are not at all happy about this situation, as we would definitely expect. So we're going to let them walk into us. This is fine. We'll stack wipe that. This is going to be two months to slow siege. That's not too bad. So that'll be done around the same time that we arrive over here. Eh, maybe a little, a little after that. But it'll be done quite quickly. All is looking good here. So yeah, these wars are going to be done very soon. How's this faction doing? 15 months on the populists and four months on the liberty faction. Okay. So we got to end this war. And once we get out of these wars, we don't mind fighting them. That'll be absolutely fine. Okay. So one of these wars is done, not the other. We're going to do this and we're going to enforce these demands. There we go. We're at 96% here. So this war will go fairly quickly. Or this siege will go fairly quickly. Yeah, this is fine. No problem. Excellent. So this war is over, and we'll enforce those demands. And we're going to head down over here. And this war's over too. No further orders need to come through. The only real question at this point... Well, we absolutely want to go up to Absolute Crown Authority. The only real question at this point is, are we going to have a problem with our Liberty Faction? Or the Populist Faction? We'll see after we get out of this war. But I don't think either of them are going to fire before this war is over. We knew that having five wars would likely cause factions to trigger, and it's not a big deal. We just inherited the Kingdom of Mordvinia. We don't want the Kingdom of Mordvinia. I have no idea where that goes, Dejure. I'm giving it to this guy. And the Duchy of Mordvinia under it. There you go. You can have that. Now I'm going to demand your conversion, but there we go. Okay. So four direct vassals above. That's fine. That is pretty much what we've got over here. We've got two duchies. Yeah, that's all of this. We'll need to deal with it, but that's fine. He refused at 86%. Rude. Well, let's enforce these demands and disband our troops. And now what we need to do is see about kingdom titles out over here. Okay, we can definitely create this kingdom title. And I'd kind of like to give it to Transoxania. Okay, there we go. Any other vassals that can go with? Yes. Perfect. We can also vassalize this person, which we probably should do. Okay, and where are you? You're out over here. You should probably go to Transoxania as well. Perfect. So that'll be fine for now. Now what we need to do is determine, are we still going to have issues with our factions? Well, first things first, I want to hop down over here and get Bandama upgrading. 
that is getting close to being fully upgraded, but it's not quite there yet. And we're going to continue to work on that. What I want to do now is check in on these factions. Okay, so these are real factions, and they are going to be firing. The Liberty Faction can send their ultimatum at any time. Okay, let's get some accolades going here. So we need to restore accolades, if we can. We cannot. Sad. In which case, this is fine. This is fine. We're going to have to deal with these rebellions, and we have to do it right now. So that's absolutely okay. We're next going to have this Liberty Faction. The current leader is the King of Navarra. Okay. So let's just raise up forces right here. We're going to raise our men-at-arms. It's going to take 45 days to get there. We'll raise levy troops as well. And we're just waiting on this guy to send his demand. Okay, this is acceptable. This is acceptable. Yep, this seems fine. This seems fine as well. This is not acceptable. We decline that. This is good. So when's this dude going to send his send his demand? Hopefully soon. The sooner the better at this point, to be honest. We've got enough forces here, and we'll see when he sends it. It'll be a liberty demand, so we'll just have to maintain control of our capital, which shouldn't be a big deal in theory. But the longer he waits, the worse it's going to get for us. That said, this independence faction is no longer strong enough. Neither are the Ashari populists for now. So they're not building up their power level. Okay, that is actually very, very good. They will probably start it once this fires. Well, bud, when are you going to send it? I wish there was a way to trigger it. I mean, we can, but we can't trigger it in a good way. Like, we can attempt to imprison this guy, and that will cause this faction to fire. But it'll also cause more people to join the faction. So I'll only do that as a last resort if I feel like we absolutely have to do it. This is fine. This is also not fine. Okay. And yeah, we have minus 76 from Offensive Wars. Yeah, that's to be expected. And minus 45 from Leper. Yeah, that's that's going to be a thing. Absolutely. Any moment now, buddy. Send your ultimatum. Just do it. We're kind of better off, actually, for him to wait, other than our supply issue. Supplies are going to be a bit of an issue, because we pre-raised. Oh, here we go. Perfect. I will not be threatened. Okay. So war has been declared, and at this point, we want to do this. I want to put a new leader in here. Ideally, somebody who has a siege trait and is a pretty good commander. That doesn't exist. So we're going to put this guy in. I want to just double check the leadership. Yep, Navara is the leader. Excellent. So we're going to take over his capital basically immediately. We see his army down this way heading south. That's fine. We captured his son in air. We're at 71% war score right now. He's coming back. This is foolish. He shouldn't be doing this. So we're going to park here. We're going to leave our siege forces here. And we're going to come fight him. Wonderful. He's going to try to run away. We'll take attrition. But that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. So we've got this under control now. And we're going to siege. I want to keep chasing him. He's running into our territory. So this is really good for us. No, I'm not going to be promoting your legend right now. Get out of here. So we're going to fight this battle. Is he personally leading this? He might be. He is. There's a chance that this ends the war. We're 89% from sieges right now. And we didn't capture him, but we're high enough. So we'll enforce those demands. 
and we're just waiting on his response. War is over. Perfect. So we'll disband our armies, and we don't have to worry about that particular faction anymore. Those guys are all imprisoned now. Now, the Independence faction is currently strong enough to send an ultimatum in 21 months. The Ashari Populists in six. Hmm. This probably hasn't updated, has it? Okay. They're still going to be strong enough to send their ultimatum. Unless this updates again. They're right on the threshold. That's noted. We're going to want to handle that before we get into any further expansion. And letting our offensive... Off, our, our offensive war malice go down is probably not a bad thing, ultimately. We have declared a lot of offensive wars, and we're planning to declare more. So, that's definitely going to be a thing. Hmm. The faction went away. Yep, they're too weak now. It is these guys. Okay. Threshold went up to 65%. So, that is reasonably fine. We can come fight up over here again. It's not a big deal. We certainly can do it. So, we would do a forced vassalization up here. 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 And here. Now. Once again, oh, this is only Conquer Duchies. We don't actually have borders with this guy, so a forced vassalization isn't going to be the best plan. We'll come back to him. We'll only do four for right now. I say only. The game is still going to think that this is a lot and that we're overextended. We might have more factionalism brewing up here, and we'll see if that happens. What we really need, of course, is to have our men-at-arms here as quickly as possible. They're three months away. So, that is fine. We just need to raise, like, eh, 40k is enough. That'll be fine. And I want to head over this direction and start a slow siege while we're gathering our men-at-arms. They'll show up eventually. And we might get this slow siege by the time they turn up. That would be, you know, convenient. Certainly, that would be a good thing. Okay, summon the physician. And we are battling up over this way. Excellent. Someone was trying to steal an artifact from us. How rude. Okay. How are we doing on our health, anyway? Resplendent raiment, huh? Yeah, that's fine. How are we doing on our health? We're fine. 54, leper, and infirm, and we're still fine. <laughs> Wild. So we're about 20 days away. Once we arrive here, they're going to head up over this direction. Although, here's what I want to do. I want to take half of this force. I want to move them down over to here. And then the bombards alone are going to head up over this way. So yeah, this slow siege is going very slowly. We'll need to get some bombards in there. That'll be fine. Okay, men-at-arms have indeed arrived. So we're just going to group these together. Split off the bombards. Over they go. And we're going to go stack wipe these armies. Wonderful. We're not seeing any more factionalism brewing up, which is slightly surprising. But yeah, they're trying to run away here. It's hilarious. It's not going to go well for them. Okay, so we're wrapping up these wars here. We'll enforce those demands. That's, of course, going to put us up over our vassal limit, I think. Yes, indeed. And we're going to walk out over this direction for now. Cool. We're not particularly scared of any of their armies, so we just want to get some sieges done quickly. That's the idea anyway. So we're going to wrap this up very swiftly. Pop up over here. They're actually going to try to fight us in their capital. That's very silly of them. They should not do this. Okay. Okay. We're 99% war score. I'm going to abandon the siege of their capital. We're just going to take this. That will end it. We'll enforce those demands. And let's head right on up over here. Grab this area. And then we won't take this attrition. Perfect. Okay, we can come up and siege over here. That got us 58% war score. That's insane. 
I'd kind of like to come fight these forces up here. That would be ideal. This should end the war, actually. So if we just have these guys come down over here, that would be fine. We do need a tax collector, and we do see that there is indeed factionalism brewing at this point. I'm deeply unsurprised by this. Ten months on the populists? Okay. Out of curiosity, can we prevent that? Possibly. We can't demand conversion of this guy or this guy. We can demand it of this guy. I'm going to send him a gift for 70 opinion, and then we'll demand his conversion. Only a 26% chance, but we'll roll those dice. 42% here. Okay. Refuses and converted. Okay. Is that actually enough to weaken that faction, though? Actually, it is. Remarkable. Okay. I like it. So these battles are going to end this one. We want to come on down over this direction and catch them here. We don't need any more war score other than battle war score down this direction. So we're going to catch this force. They're going to stack white. This war is over. We'll enforce those demands and head on up over this way. Let's wait for reinforcements here. We may as well. It was showing mixed mixed outcome here and uh it we probably would have won it but we would have taken unnecessary losses and the risk is that we lose our bombards and if we did lose our bombards that would be a pretty big delay so we would definitely prefer not to do that inward we go and of course this war is going to be over very shortly there we go Fantastic. So this is a kingdom rank realm. Interesting. So we can probably give all of these people that we just vassalized over here to this king. And that would be fine. Any of these that we can grant to rightful liege, though? Yes. One, two, and three. So that looks good. How many above are we right now? One above. That makes sense because we got a new kingdom title. So that, of course, means that we need to grant out a kingdom title. And we just happen to have gotten a bunch of shiny new kingdom prisoners. So we've got this guy. And we're definitely going to revoke his title. Perfect. That is going to get combined together with Gur at this point. So we're going to grant this title over here. Perfect. And that solves the problem. Excellent. So that looks good. We do need to continue to move into this area, but we got a lot of those little guys cleaned up. I'm wondering about our truce over here. We can't quite forced vassalize her. And there's not great claims there. Do we have a claimant that we can bring in now? Actually, we do. He is like 70 years old. So we got to go quick on this. He might die. Is he our courtier now? Yes. Okay. We demand his conversion. 83%. And presumably he converts. Yes, he did. Now we're going to press his claim here. That's not you. That is you. We got to go quick. Real quick here. So their capital is up this way. Let's raise our forces here. We'll raise our men-at-arms. Four months. Hopefully he doesn't die in this four months. He is 70. So we got to go fast on this. Real fast. Raising about 40k levy troops. Um, Actually, he's got a pretty decent amount of troops there. Heading off to the north. Let's raise about 50k. Maybe 70. This'll do. And I'm going to split off 20,000 of these. And they're going to come down over here with a siege leader. There we go. Just waiting on those men at arms. 50 levels or 50 days left on that, I should say. Okay. Our friend died, bringing us up to level one stress. Level one stress is okay. We want to avoid level two stress. So that's all fine. 
20 days left on our men-at-arms. 10 days. 3, 2, 1, 0. Well, that's some timing. Okay, we'll disband these armies. She no longer controls any of the territory. Um, I'm not convinced that's true. It's the same person, right? No. She inherited it at the exact same time. Which means that also we lost our claimant. He left our court and joined her court as her Atabeg. How rude. We're going to have to bring this guy in. He's 60, so he's younger. So that's nice. But we're going to have to try that one again. What timing? <laughs> no doubt about it. That was quite the timing. He's going to convert 100% chance. And we're going to try this again. We'll declare that war, but it is time to put a cut in here. I was hoping to get that done this episode, but that'll have to be a next episode thing. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods. Wow, look at Rajasthan up here. Okay, that's interesting. You can leave your offering to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy McGar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.